Hi, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on for you at this time. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to start with some Oracle cards and then go into your love and see. So you have a transformation. It says transformation is brewing. Embrace change and harness its magic. And I feel like for a lot of Scorpios, you're ready for this. That uh, maybe you've been in a place where things have been really dark and heavy. And maybe you're ready for something lighter and easier. So transformation. What else for Scorpio? Focus. Focus your energy and, and your intentions hold great power. For some reason, when I read that, I saw the number 444. You may be seeing that a lot. But I'm going to read it one more time because I kind of butchered it. Focus your energy. Your intentions hold great power. So I'm getting a lot of focusing on what you really want at this time. Like, like one main thing. Um, use crystals. The card was saying, you know, amplify it with crystals. You can just use, you know, you can just use quartz. Um, love, you might want to use rose quartz. Okay. What is going on for Scorpio? Wonders. There's so much more for you to discover in life. Gifts, big plan, and something's unfolding. All right, nice. All right. Let's see. All right. Should we jump into tarot spirit? They're saying use this one. Okay. Scorpio. Deep quiet. Meditation and stillness. You may be in a phase right now where it's like the four, four swords. Yeah, four, four, four. Um, just ask the universe what it is they want to tell you and then just pause, you know, rest for a moment. You also may get some sort of epiphany while you're driving, you know, when you're just like not thinking about anything, something may hit you. This card is also number 11. You are going through some new doorway. So, all right. I feel like some of you feel like it's bleak, nothing's changing, nothing's going to happen, there's nothing good on the horizon. And I just get like, that's not so, Scorpio. All right. What is going on for Scorpio? Overall energy is strength. Yeah, having to be strong. Four of coins. Judgment. There's that four of swords. And this is in what you don't see or don't know or don't realize. And I feel like some of you are in the four of swords energy. It's not quite hangman. It's kind of just waiting, but being okay with waiting, which I know is hard. And five of coins. I'm not worried about it because under the deck is a star card. And this reading is only for, you know, a few days. It could be the weekend. You may feel out in the cold. Part of the problem, maybe you're thinking, possibly. Um, yeah, you may feel stuck. We'll see. We're going to see what comes in. I'm going to jump over to also love and see if this has something to do with it for Scorpio. There's been some bad judgment here with cloudy judgment. Illusions, unbalanced, distorted. Thinking about you, though. Someone has romantic feelings. Things are changing. And maybe someone is anxious. You're anxious. We're doing more. Taking a chance. Rolling the dice. Spying. All right. So you could have someone who's thinking about you. Maybe some bad choices they've made in the past. But... going to reach out on social network, um, social media. All right. There you are having to be strong. This might have something to do with a Leo for some of you, but I do, I get like this temperance energy and this strength energy, having to be strong, having to, you know, balance your emotions, Scorpio, the four of coins. We have listening to intuition. We have an offer coming in with a page of cups. This could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and the five of coins, you have the six of wands. There's victory. You're overcoming something, Scorpio. This could possibly be a Pisces. We have Leo. Um, we have someone who is listening to their intuition, though, and just kind of waiting. That's the four of coins. They are holding their cards close to their chest. Show me this king of swords energy. An offer that you maybe don't see coming of something big. There is something coming towards you. This could be a love offer. This could be a work offer for some of you. But this tells me that things are changing and you're coming out of the cold with the Six of Wands. So, Page of Cups. Oops, that just fell. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups comes out when it tells me that you have options. This also tells me it's something you've been manifesting. So, I'll put that there. But this is Page of Cups energy for Scorpio. Knight of Cups. So, it's the same energy, just a little bit stronger. The Knight of Cups is coming towards you. Show me Scorpio's energy with the Queen of Cups here. 
Yeah, I've been feeling weighed down. Wow. But you are at the end of a path. You're at the end of a cycle, Scorpio. Show me one more. Sure, you'll be able to move on from that. So it's interesting because it's saying you're transforming and changing, but you need to focus your energy. Also, just try to be positive. I know it's difficult. Someone is coming towards you with an offer. And again, let me say this. It looks like love. That's why I wanted to read the other cards to see what is showing up in your love life. It may not be love for all of you if you're like thinking about money, but it could be a combination. It could be a job. This can be, you know, a job, a contract, something like that. So what are you, whatever you're manifesting, what is the seven of cups, 10 of cups, happiness, high priestess, three of coins working together, wanting to work with you, wanting to be with you with the hair font. Okay. So I'm going to kind of switch over to love since that's what I usually do. And there is someone here who really has their eye on you, but they're anxious. So they're kind of like getting ready to reach out, Scorpio, but that's why they're spying. For some reason, they feel like this is risky. They feel like um, this is, are you, maybe you scare them a little bit, Scorpio. What fell out was the Ace of Cups. So this could be a new person, a new love. You may know them, but they, I don't feel like you've dated possibly at this point. This could be someone that you are in a long-term relationship here with Ten of Cups. Show me the Ace of Cups, please. Letting something go, walking away, roaring. Oh, not moving forward. And then offer possibly a possibly an earth sign and the fool. I feel like this opportunity was there and they passed it up or something like that. That was the cloudy judgment. They didn't see uh, the connection or the, there was some reason that they did not want to take the chance at the time. And they've regretted that. You can see they've regretted that. They've worried about this. So bad. Now, it could also be you. Maybe an offer was for you and you did not accept it. And maybe it was you who had, you know, distorted judgment at the time. Maybe you didn't see it. Maybe you didn't even, you know, know this person was interested. Possibly or something like that. You just weren't in the mood. It was just not the right time. Something, Scorpio. But um, it's coming back towards you. And this is the coin right here with the Knight of Coins. It's up close. You can see. What does Scorpio need to know? Romantic feelings are there. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. There is someone that you have some sort of, you know, obviously romantic. Um, you're interested. You find them attractive or cute or something. This person is coming back towards you. When is that going to happen? Can you tell Scorpio when that's going to happen? Water sign, King of Cups, Three of Cups, wanting to date. Could be three days. Could be three weeks at most, Three of Cups. Could be a water sign like you. All right. Passion and then rejection came out. So there was something where it was like, yeah, rejected. Then there's an obsession possibly. The person is obsessing because you, I think you rejected somebody. And I kind of get, it would have been a good match or a good opportunity, but it's okay. It is what it is. It meant to happen that way. Um, this person, though, is going to take a chance again to reveal their feelings. What else does Scorpio need to know? You have the hard working bee. This tells me right here that some of you are working too hard, working too much, or you're trying to keep up to pay the bills. You may need um, a break. It says work ethic, community drive. You have the power to realize your dreams. This can just be manifestation, focusing, keeping, you know, positive, which can be work in itself sometimes. All right. So let's see what else you have, Scorpio. You have a secret admirer. See, why do I get the feeling that for some of you, you kind of pass this person by? And it wasn't on purpose. You were so overwhelmed that maybe you didn't notice the offer. And again, maybe they weren't very outgoing. They didn't really show a lot. So, and again, you have a lot of fours. So four days, uh, four weeks could be very significant as well. Three to four. What else for Scorpio? There's a period of prosperity and abundance coming in for you with the bread card. So you are on the road to success, Scorpio. I feel like you put in a lot of work. You've been working hard. You also have pineapple. This could be a reconciliation with someone. Someone's coming back around, but you're feeling tied down or frustrated. 
Some of you feel like you don't have time to do fun things or date is also what I'm getting here. And But you'll be receiving a gift. It could be a diamond. All right, and it's time to go out and have fun. All right, so I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. Have a great weekend.